my fellow Americans, it's your boy Dank Brandon here. Today I want to talk to you about a serious issue. It's called stolen valor. You see, conservatives out there want to tell you that my boy Tim Walls abandoned his post before shipping out to Iraq. They also say it didn't serve in combat. Well, I'm here to tell you that is fake news. If any of you have ever been to Minneapolis, you know it's basically like Iraq now. Tim went the extra mile to ensure so during the George Floyd riots by letting the city burn to the ground. So if anyone in government knows about combat experience, it's Tim. Just like my son, Bo, who died in Iraq. And to the assholes who say he never carried in combat, Tim served overseas in Italy. Have you ever been to Trevi Fountain? Full of dirty fucking gypsies? Try carrying your man purse around in that hell hole without getting your pocket picked. Impossible. Anyways, as usual, orange man bad. VP cackles good. Thank Brandon out. Can I finish, Simone? Will you just shut up for a minute and let me finish? Pardon me, sir. You Ken don't get to tell America. me to shut up on national and, television. And, and, and we don't tell Eventually, people to shut up on this show. Up. You know, I kind of wish that was the real Joe Biden. It would be the first time he's been honest in a very long time when talking about Tim Wall's record of stolen valor. And while that video wasn't real, what you're about to see is multiple minutes of Tim Walls in multiple interviews where the potential vice president of the United States is lying about his military service. As a 24-year veteran of the Army National Guard and a retired command sergeant major. As a retired sergeant major in the Army National Guard out of Minnesota. Uh, retired out as command sergeant major. Uh, I spent 24 years in the military, uh, Congressman, as a command sergeant major. I don't... Tim Walls is one of those everyday people. Coach to the state champs. Teacher of the year. Command sergeant major. I am a retired command sergeant major in the Minnesota National Guard. Uh, I am a retired uh, sergeant major in the Army National Guard. What I consider to be the responsibility and the privilege of being the highest ranking enlisted personnel uh, ever to serve in Congress. And I'm the oh, uh, Democrat. What, what rank was that? Command sergeant major. Uh, yeah. So when you first came to Washington, you were a uh, retired command sergeant major in the Army National Guard. So you. I was an enlisted soldier uh, for, for all those years, and, and care of troops and making sure they have the right equipment is, uh, is paramount. So He's a coach to the state football champs, and he's a command sergeant major in the Army National Guard. And I want to introduce you my favorite coworker, um, who achieved the rank of command sergeant major in the Army National Guard, and someone who probably wears the Red Bull uh, whenever he can. So please join me in welcoming our governor, a veteran, Governor Tim Walz. 17, served 24 years, including an operation during freedom, retired as a command sergeant major, which makes him the highest ranking enlisted uh, soldier to ever serve in the United States Congress. He said, you know, you have a visitor that's coming. This is, uh, this is Congressman Walz from Minnesota. He's a retired sergeant major in the Army. A retired command sergeant major in the National Guard, he represents Minnesota's first congressional district and is the ranking member of the House of Veterans Affairs Committee, a member of American Legion Post 11 in Mankato, Minnesota. He was the creator and sponsor of the American Legion Coin Bill and was a valuable ally in the passage of numerous other veteran-centric legislation. Please give a warm American Legion family welcome to Representative Tim Walls.